and so the Battle of the Poles is deferred till 1950. voices of the Welsh crowd must have made the English team a bit apprehensive as they posed for their picture before the start of the International at Cardiff, but even the blessing by Leek, which greeted Wales, failed to bring them over much luck. The hottest October day for umpteen years was really no weather for football. Still, early rain had put the pitch in very good condition, and Wales made the most of it. In the early stages, they did everything but score. There's Griffiths, number seven, who later got the home team's only goal. Then, when it looked as though Wales were well on top, England scored three times in 13 minutes, Milburn netting twice. The English captain was still limping from a leg injury as he led his team out after the interval, but when Milburn notched a personal hat-trick and England's fourth, it seemed that luck was certainly on England's side. Principality fought back and Griffiths reduced the leeway, but by now the Welsh cause was as good as lost. England continued to attack, and just why they didn't get another seems difficult to understand. <laughs> 